Hello everyone, my name is Ashutosh. I'm from Alpha Tau Omega Consultation and today we will be talking about the compliance policy for Windows 10 in Microsoft Intune. Previously we talked about the compliance policy in Windows 8.1, Windows 8 and uh, iOS devices, Android devices. So first of all to start with we just need to know that why this policy is different than 8 and 8.1 it's actually not uh, very not so many differences the only thing which makes it a little secure is the implementation of uh, BitLocker and uh, with Windows 10 starting from Windows 10 the compliance policy can manage BitLocker on the devices and if the device does not have a BitLocker and you have selected is as required then the devices will be marked as not compliant now uh, many people they may question that what is a bit locker bit locker uh, it's actually a data protection or an encryption tool which is implemented in windows devices since windows 7 however uh, it works best with the trusted platform module that's tpm 1.2 version uh, we will talk about tpm in my next videos or in my upcoming videos i won't say that it will be the next one or which one but we will be talking about TPM in later videos now it's actually a data protection feature that integrates with operating systems and addresses the threats of data theft or exposure from lost stolen or inappropriately decommissioned computer now BitLocker provides the most protection when used with a trusted platform module TPM version 1.2 or later as I said earlier. Now the TPM is actually a hardware component that is installed in many newer computers by the computer manufacturers. It works with BitLocker to help protect user data and to ensure that a computer has not been tampered with while the system is offline. So this is just to make sure or just maintain the integrity of the computer or the or the applications which are installed on the computer, the basic uh, system files and all. Now that we have a little information about BitLocker, let's proceed with the policy creation. However, uh, for BitLocker and the TPM, I will cover both of the technologies or both of the things in a single video in my uh, upcoming videos. I I will try to do it as soon as possible but uh, due to other things in my hand I might not be able to post the videos or create the videos for uh, these applications or these two security features. Now to start with first of all in order to create any compliance policy as you might have seen in my previous video we need to log on to Azure portal and in the Azure portal we can uh, simply open the Intune option just from right here. Now the once the Intune blade is opened, the only the next thing which you need to do is to go to device compliance. Under device compliance, go to policies, then create a policy. In the in create policy option, you just need to create a name. I'm sorry about the background noise. I uh, well, there's a traffic actually today. So Windows. Uh, 10 I would say the compliance policy name the platform would be Windows 10 and later under settings there are one two three four four settings majorly four settings you need to go to uh, device health that is actually uh, the one which you use to require BitLocker or any Windows 10 device which is which you want to enroll with the Intune now to do that just select require BitLocker once you require it, that should be all. Other options that secure boot and code integrity, that's actually uh, with the implementation of TPM. It, these two are not required in Windows 10, in upcoming Windows 10 device uh, operating systems or the latest Windows 10 operating systems. So the only thing which you need here is BitLocker in case you want to make sure that uh, the devices which your users are using is secure enough. Now, once you do that, click OK. The next thing which you want is device properties. Over here, uh, minimum OS version, maximum OS version, minimum OS version for mobile devices. Uh, so these two are for mobile devices. For example, in Windows 10, if I want to make sure that uh, any Windows 
10 device is uh, let's see uh, Windows 10 version so 17 or 3 semi annual channel current branch CB so these are the versions which you want and then you can select the required version which you want to select as minimum and maximum once you do that click OK after that the other part which is important is system security under system security once you open it you will get uh, the similar password prompt or the password field as you got in or as you could see or as you found in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 compliance policies so you can require a password same as earlier or same as usual you can leave all these settings or if you want you can make sure that or you can select the options as per your requirement then encryption if you want to make sure that the device is encrypted using BitLocker you go for it then the device security there are three options which are integrated in Windows 10 firewall antivirus and anti spyware that means if you have a firewall enabled or if you want to make sure that the devices which your users are using has an active firewall has an active antivirus and has an active anti spyware program then you can require all these settings for now I'm requiring firewall or let's do for all okay now you require all these three settings the next thing which you want is defender this windows defender anti malware for example uh, you have a device and you have installed Windows Defender and malware or you want to uh, assure that your users are using uh, Windows Defender and malware so if you require this the only devices which has Windows Defender and malware installed and active would be marked as compliant if you do it as not conf configured so this option or, or Windows Defender and malware is not required either it may be there it may not it's completely uh, up to the user so if you want to make sure that the anti malware like windows defender anti malware should be there you require it any specific version if you have in mind or if you have any application which works with any particular uh, version of defender then you can select the version signature up to date like the updated if you want if it is like uh, if I have a device and I have not updated the anti malware program for from last one month then if you want or if you require it I won't be or my device won't be marked as compliant because this one um, is not updated real-time protection you can turn it on turn it on off on any uh, anti malware program so if you want to require it you can for now I'm leaving, I'm leaving all these three options as not required I click OK and the next thing which you want is Windows Defender ATP that's advanced threat protection if you if your device or if you have a license for advanced threat protection it can be installed and the uh, these are the risk scores high risk that means any application if the device is at high risk it can be marked compliant medium a little or if the medium threat is found on the device the device still will be marked as compliant however if you keep it low that means that uh, even if the smallest uh, not even if the smallest if the small or, or just very light threat is detected on for the device then even then the device can be marked as compliant however if you make it clear so even if the slightest threat or slightest security risk is uh, detected by the ATP the device will be marked as not compliant it's completely up to you if you have that if you have ATP installed on your computer fine or else you can leave it then you click OK once you do that the action for non-compliance same as the previous one that's the grace period if you want to mark the device non compliant immediately you can do that or a little if you want to take one or two more days you can do it click OK create once you create it you can assign it okay now uh, there has been a change in the plan or there has been an update that 
the compliance policies can now be assigned to the Windows devices and uh, I mean the um, yeah devices also not only users but also on devices okay so if you have any device added or if you have created any group with the devices you can do that or you can select any specific group or group of users in this case I'm assigning this to test group I select it and now I save it once I save it the device compliance policy is for Windows 10 is assigned to the group so if any user from that group they use Windows 10 device this compliance policy will be applied to the device and if any of the parameters are not met then the device will be marked as not not compliant provided you have selected any grace period or after the grace period it will be marked as not compliant so that would be all from Windows 10 devices and the compliance policy in Windows 10 the next thing which we will be uh, covering next would be the um, conditional access once we have done uh, once we are done with the conditional access then we can move with the device enrollment and the configuration policies also uh, as I have stated earlier in order to check the device status like what is the compliance policy status you can go to this device or you can go to the devices option go to all device and if there is any device found it will be shown here you click it and then you can see the status you can check the status of the compliance policy and that would be all so for now uh, thank you so much for your time and patience and I really appreciate if you can share the video or if you would if you have any suggestion suggestions are most welcome and also if you have any question any query about any of the Intune uh, related app options then of course you can mark you can just uh, simply leave a comment and I'll try my best to respond as soon as possible and I'm sorry for the delay from now on I believe I, I should be uh, active because I there was some um, urgent work they were in hand and I had to complete them before I make this video well thank you so much again and uh, See you in next video.